even though there's billions of dollars of drugs in it and all that kind of stuff. It's just a theory. What if that theory is wrong? What do we know about science? The old theories usually turn out to be wrong. We know that's a fact, don't we? We know that's a fact. It's never, we've seen that over our history, we got a little bit better. And that's why I believe in technology. All technology, I was, I kind of became a Luddite. How many people know what the word Luddite means? I don't. A Luddite is someone who just goes, I don't want any technology around me. Yeah, it's all bad. I like that too. Yeah, I was kind of like that. I became a Luddite. But then I, then I, through the research that I started doing, I thought, I thought, God, we got into this problem technologically. Can we get out of the problem, our environmental problem, technologically? And the answer is yes. What's the number one environmental problem in this room right now? EMF. It's what's going on in here already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? The toxins, the whatever. What's been choked off, what's growing in here. So... Thich Nhat Hanh said it this way, beautifully phrased. To save the environment, we need to save the environmentalist. Yeah. So what's going on in here is the, is the most important environment to worry about first. When this gets clean, then we go, okay, now I get it. Now I see what's out there. And I see why it is that way. You know, pure, my friend Dr. Patrick Flanagan, he's a certified genius. He really is an amazing guy. Was, when he was 17 years old, he was voted the top. He was voted in the top ten scientists in the United States at age seventeen, and this is what he said. He, he said it to me. He said, "Purity is its own reward. Purity is its own reward." Mm -hmm. Powerful phrase. I mean, what you said, I mm. dropped in there. Good. Yeah. yeah. Technologically, we're in an aberrant situation. We're not in a normal situation. We're driving around in cars. We're flying in planes. We need to have a technology that can counteract what's happening to us. That's the MRS 2000. It, and it works in many multifaceted ways, but the main thing is it's increasing our oxygenation and nutrient uptake of every cell equally, and it's dropping out their waste products equally as fast. When you combine that together, and you get an appropriate hydration kind of program, you put together an appropriate nutrition program, you can see where this goes. Again, I'm a serious gadget guy. I mean, come on, I grew up in it. To, to get any device and get so into it that I use it every single day. I walk into a hotel room, first thing comes out, mat goes out, throw the <laughs> covers back, slide them underneath there, pull them all back over, and then I can just lay down there for eight minutes and get my little treatment. And it's, it's, it seems like there's something that happens and improves over time as well. It seems like that's what, I mean, I've been doing this so long, I've been such at the, the kind of the peak of the health field for such a long time that I feel like I'm in touch with my body, but I'm not really sure if there's anywhere I can go with this stuff because I don't have any pain. A woman came to a retreat, and she took me aside. The retreat we did, she took me aside. This is in October. She, she said, hey, are, are you ever in pain? And I, I was so out of touch with where people were at. I was so out of touch because I am never in pain. I'm never in any physical pain at all. Doesn't matter what I do, doesn't matter if I'm in a flight red eye. I took the red eye the other day out of Hawaii, and I was like three hours cramped up like this, you know, worst neck position ever. Got out of there like this, got home, put the mat out, laid down eight minutes, gone. What a, I mean, that's, that is a technology to get out of pain. That's possible now. So I, I'm here to just show that opportunity. That if, if, there, if it's no way, then there's a way. If there's no choice, there's a choice, always. And we've got to kind of narrowly escape kind of where we're heading. If we don't do that, it's kind of the abyss for all of us. And in order to do that, it ain't about going out there and stopping, you know, some nuclear warship. It's about cleaning up what's in here first and pointing in here first. And once we purify this thing, then we're, I guess we're in a state where we have enough um, personal ability and skill to go out and then share it with others. And that, that technology here has been part of that for me. Now, let me tell you about Wolfgang, what he won't tell you, oh. from the little that I know of him. Okay. <laughs> Wolfie and I share this passion and we come from our heart. You know, I do the work that I do. I've done it every day, nonstop, for 15 years, all day long. I've done it for free. I've gone into inner city schools, and I know that's how Wolfie is. Because it's not, the, it's not about the money, it's about the service, and it's also about the fun. That's the most important thing. 
Money has never, it's never even been a thought in my head, ever. It's just as long as the business can turn the numbers and everything can work, it's like, okay, let those guys handle it. You know, I need to do this work on the other side. There's very few, surprisingly enough, there's very few CEOs that I know of that are in that state of consciousness. But Wolfgang is one of them. Because it's, it's, it's a certain, to me, that's a spiritual state of consciousness. Where he is on the planet, he knows his mission, and he's activating that mission every single day. That's, a, that's an exceptionally rare person, but I believe in the future will be exceedingly less rare. That more and more people are going to get on with their mission as we go into the future. There's another thing, too. The, the way that Wolfie runs this operation is to get the message out, which indicates to me that he will fly across that Atlantic Ocean 28 times in a year so that other people can hear the message. I've flown all over the world for 15 years. You can have two or three times a week, every week, nonstop. There comes a point where you, where you go, man, I've got to slow down, mm-hmm. but you sacrifice the ability to get the message out. So for me, it was like, nope, can't do that. Got to keep going. Boom, get right back on it. So I've been there, know where he's coming from. So I know that that kind of work schedule, he has the money, he can slow it down if he wants. He doesn't have to do that. But he doesn't. Why? Because the message needs to go out. He's got people around the world that are calling him saying, hey, Wolfie, you know, Los Angeles, California. And he'll fly all the way out here for us to do this event. No, no. Wolfie was a professional hockey player in Germany. And he's going to tell you his story. But, you know, one of my best friends who I just stayed in Hawaii with for 10 days is a cancer survivor. And so is Wolfie. And when you, when you go through that, it's never quite gone out of your consciousness. You know, Wolfie said it best last time I saw you. He said it best. It's, oh, something, something's wrong in your body, you don't feel right, you immediately think cancer's back. So some of us who've never dealt with cancer, they have no idea what that's like up here. But when you have dealt with it, then you know what it's like up here. His research led him to this technology, and he's still alive and kicking over here. How long has it been? 15 years? Yeah, exactly 15 years. 15 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you just never know someone's real story. And you never know what kind of pain a person has been in. And we're never really here to add weight onto someone's pain. But if we can, in a moment, lift it off. And that's what we're trying to do here tonight. We're going to educate to the point where you might discover that there are ways or opportunities for you to get out of pain now, immediately. And in fact, what I've been doing, I do events... 1,500 people was our last big event in Orange County. 1,500 people in a room like this. And you know what I do? As I have people on a mat in the corner going every eight minutes. Someone else on that mat. Every, all the entire lecture long. Every event since I got that thing. Because it works. I mean, you, put, you roll someone on there, they're all wound up. And just, they calm down. Someone's in pain, they go out of pain. And this woman had pain in her joint. She came to my house after we did this retreat. She had pain in her joint right here, and I know that exact injury. I've had it before. It's a football injury. She did it in yoga. And I know what you know, kind of needs to be pulled. That thing, that cushion right there, knocked it out in eight minutes. That little cushion. It's, you know, it's in that joint. It's hard to get in there. Wolfie's going to talk about how this was discovered and what it means. And he's also going to talk about the history of, of this discovery. It's really incredible. It's a, you know, a medical device has to be done in the certification course that's being done here this weekend. That's what's happening tomorrow. That's what's going to be happening Sunday. That medical device has to be sold in that way because this is serious technology. This is like, you know, stuff that should be in hospitals, really. But we are so fortunate. I mean, we're the most fortunate beings in the universe that we have access to anything we want. People aren't jumping on ships to go to Poland. Any from Poland? Anyone from Poland here? <laughs> 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 Jumping on life rafts trying to get. We're, we're almost at Poland. <laughs> what are they doing? They're jumping on ships to get over here. What's going on over here that's different from over there? Opportunity, awareness, just the awareness, the ability to get what you want. Is it perfect? <laughs> no, it's definitely not perfect. No. Never.